Yo, welcome back to part 26 of my first playthrough of Hearts of Stone. The expansion for The Witcher 3. We just did the heists, uh, so we're going to take the Borsodi house back to Olgierd. But remember from the last part, <laughs> the contents inside are not in it, as we made a deal just for the box. Because all he did ask for was the box. So that's all he's getting. Get out of the way, gods. There's loads of guards around here. Just part of my horse there. <laughs> right, let's see if we can go in this way. Oh no, it's the building next to it. Oh shit. Let's go in. Here's his crew. Where is he in here? There he is. What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Let's just talk to him first. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, is common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. How oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. A theory was a dofa on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her last. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. First time I've seen a sabre like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my save was a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olgierd von Everett, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carousers and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. 
All those are gathered on the road, and a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sports, at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as molds. Right, let's play a game of Gwent with him before uh, we give him the house. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Play out your cards. This is the Northern Realms who I usually always pick. I mean, I've got pretty much all the cards. Got some really good fucking cards, man. Look at those bangers. Some good monsters. Look at that. Look at all those bad boys. Got loads of goodies, man. Look at those. Fucking awesome, huh? But I never choose them, so I'm... I never use them, so... I'm always worried that I'll fucking lose. So, I'll stick with what I know. So, let's do this. Some more like cards, I guess. Let's see what we can do. Pretty sure he'll have some awesome cards. I've only got one of these handshake ones, fucking useless. Save that one actually. Uh, just put a standard down. Get rid of our shit cards to start off with. Oh, that's a good one. Fucking hell. Look at that. 38. Shall I give them the first round or catch up? We pass. So we need 32. Should we really waste four cards? 32, 15, 25. We could do that. So what could I do? Let's see what I can do here. Eight, let's just see what I can do here. down oh no it won't let me do it for the others so what do we need another eight it was eight it's seven fifteen now let's just dump this down there you go this way will be five and five Yeah. 
Oh, he had an automatic, bastard. Oh, we got that 15 back, nice. Fucking hell, look, he's got loads of them ones. Check that out. Fucking hell. Spanking them three to three now. Oh shit. It's alright, still winning. So you got twenty left. Let's hope he's got less than that. Oh we're fucked. Fuck's sake. You're joking me. Let's hope he's got a sh Oh, he's going to swamp me. Oh no, we've won. Fuck yeah. Eat that, boyo. Killed his ass. Shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Wonder what card we got. Toad. Haha, <laughs> wicked. Right, time to give him the house. Got something for you. I love gifts. But I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads. Mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Alright, what do you have for me? He's not going to be happy. <laughs> Max Personi's house, as requested. He wants what's inside, I know it. But there's nothing inside. The papers, where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. <laughs> Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? Dunno. Ask for legal advice? Looks to me like you might need some. You signed the contract, Old Geard. I'm just fulfilling its terms, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. <laughs> it's progress. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aimed to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. 
Ah, so we didn't get to ask one of the other questions, but fuck it. The Borsodes. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction. Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tanker. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. Ah. Oh. What happened then? Ah. Uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. You need something? Nothing more, don't think. I'm off to entertain your brother. Break a leg. Literally. Oi, so that's done now. Open sesame complete. So we got another quest to do now. Dead Man Party. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that video. Come back and check out the next one. Adios. Oh, and if you didn't enjoy it, go fuck it.